Today on Kemp Outside, we're going to review the Batteria Power Sunrock 20 MPPT Solar Charge Controller. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Well, if you watched my previous video, you saw I built a portable power station for the Kemp bus or for our car when we're going on trips. And it has a 100 amp hour battery inside it and then a bunch of 12 volt and 110 outlets so that we can run computers, charge devices, whatever we wanna do with it when we're on the road. What I did was I built into that box a plug so that I could connect this MPPT solar charge controller from Battery Power. So I'm really, really excited to test that out today. I have been waiting for a sunny day. We've had a bunch of rain and overcast days since I received this and I really wanted to give it a good test. So today is the day. We're gonna see how this performs. Uh, but first I thought I would just go over the features. So this is a really cool device in that it's waterproof. It can be outside, which is really sweet for us because uh, anything we do needs to be uh, somewhat weatherproof. And this is, and then it basically, you know, what you see is what you get, right? It's uh, really pretty simple plug and play. It's got an input side. This is what you can, you connect to your solar array. And then it's got an output side, which is how you connect it to the battery. So uh, really, really simple. It's got uh, an easy to read battery uh, capacity gauge here, and then it lights up so that this can work with gel cell, AGM or lithium batteries. And how you're gonna do that is you're gonna work through the settings here and set it up, or you can Bluetooth it through the app and change the settings that way. So really, really cool. Let me show you what it comes with. Okay guys, so in the box comes a little card that with a QR code either for Android or Apple that helps you download the app, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it comes with a user manual, which is helpful, especially if you're getting an error code because it has the keys uh, to the error codes. And then it gives you this little hard card uh, with some instructions to make sure that you're connecting things upright. The other thing that it comes with is it comes this little uh, pigtail so that if you need this connector to connect to your, your solar panel array, you can just wire that up. I use an adapter that adapts from this, oops, from this to uh, MC4 connectors on my solar panel, so I don't need this. And then the other thing it comes with is it comes with this little adapter. Now on this card, let me grab it real quick. It says, it says to avoid polarity, reverse conditions. So if, when your positive is hooked up to your negative and your negative is hooked up to your positive. To avoid polarity, reverse condition of some PV output, which is your solar panels, please use this reverse device to correct the connection. So basically what this is saying is that some on sol some solar panels the mc4 connectors are reversed or or these uh connectors are reversed so on this one you can see that the positive pin is on the red wire and the negative pin or the female pin is on the black wire and the male pin is on the red wire what this is saying is that sometimes that's reversed and if it's reversed you can use this little adapter to swap that out. And we actually need to use this and I'm gonna show you where. So that's an important piece to, to this whole thing. So don't lose this, it might come in really handy for you. All right guys, so we have the battery of power 20 MPPT solar charge controller plugged in to the uh, portable power station and to a rich solar 200 watt solar panel. Now. There were some interesting things with this, so I'm gonna go through them one at a time. Number one is that this connector has the positive on this side and the negative on this side. So you have to use this little reversing uh, adapter that comes with 
the battery of power kit. So as you can see, like it says, you know, positives going in this way, negatives going in this way, but it actually is reversed. And so you have to use that. And then on the solar panel side, let me move the camera here. You'll see that if you look, you know, red is on top, black's on the bottom, but over here, black's on the, on the top, red's on the bottom. And that just seems to be because the way Rich Solar has their MC4 connectors and the way this kit I bought off Amazon that just converts MC4 to whatever you call these connectors is reversed. So it really is positive all the way through and negative all the way through to get this to work. So you have to ignore the colors of the wires. Now, that is a little frustrating to me. I hate it when it doesn't line up. I checked the thing four times to make sure I got it right and it is correct. So what I may try and do is get some heat shrink and heat shrink those wires so that I know that the heat shrink is correct. You know, red heat shrink and black heat shrink to basically kind of reverse them. Uh, Cause it does, it definitely does bother me some and I haven't quite figured out how to fix that. If you do connect it wrong, you'll get an E14 on the screen. I don't know if you can see the screen. Let me try to move the camera in there. So hopefully you can see the screen there, but basically when you power it on, you're gonna want to press and hold and then cycle through until you're at uh, life PO4, which is lithium. And then you're gonna also set it, mine's at 12 volt, right? So it's not a, it's not a, uh, 24 volt system you can select back and forth for that but if you can see the screen right it says 13.5 volts and 11.9 amps i'm guessing the 11.9 amps is what's coming out of the solar panel into the battery but if you do connect it wrong you'll get an e14 error code which is reverse polarity and that's how i figured out that this port was not the same as the battery uh, uh, output and had to use that little reversing adapter. Oh, all, all though, guys, it's pretty cool. I mean, I just hooked it up to this rich solar panel. I've got it leaning against the table and uh, the sun's hitting it pretty good. And it's given me, you know, 11.88 amps. You know, that's pretty decent, I think. You know, considering I'm not screwing around with the panel to try and get the proper angle. And, you know, I could have more wattage of solar than just this one 200 watt panel you know but i'm just using this panel to test it out this panel is actually going to go on the cargo camper build so it's not going to actually be for this eventually my plan is to pick up a, a portable panel or two to connect to this battery of power but with that said guys here i am charging the battery off the sun pretty cool Okay guys, so I use my phone to record these videos, but I also wanted to use the app. So what I did was I downloaded the app on the phone and I took some screenshots. Let's take a look at those now. Okay, here's a look at the real-time monitoring screen for the app associated with the Battery of Power MPPT solar charge controller. One of the things I noticed was right at the top, it's giving me the battery state of charge. You know, it's reading 13.5 volts and it's telling me that the battery is is almost full as a matter of fact that little icon moves but you couldn't see it uh, in the screen snap next it tells me the solar input was 18.3 volts and the status was mppt which i don't think that changes so i don't that's kind of a useless box the on the screen as i showed you it was showing me 11.5 amps that's the battery current not the current coming in from the solar so i thought that was interesting uh the battery is also reading 13.5 volts and uh, i guess the power is that there was 155 watts moving into the battery so uh you know that was you know, nice information to have. Uh, the controller was reading 47 degrees Celsius or 116.6 degrees Fahrenheit. That kind of makes sense as it was sitting in the direct sunlight. 
And then as we scroll down in the app, basically what we see uh, is this screen here. So uh, you get uh, some running data. So today's running data is that the highest voltage was 13.5 volts, the lowest was 13.5. Obviously it hadn't been running that long. Uh, the charge mounts it had put in 42 watt hours and it was not discharging anything and that the max charge power was 162 watts out of the panel. At the very bottom of the screen you can see some tabs uh, for historical data. I didn't use the device that long so I really didn't record any historical data so I'm hoping to do a follow-up video once I have some portable solar panels where I can kind of show uh, some historical data and then the last tab is parameter setting and that's where you'll go in and make some adjustments one of the things that you can do is select your battery type I forgot to shoot that screen so I'll do that in a future video as well so final thoughts I want to thank battery of power for sending this to me I did not purchase it guys battery it did send it to me in exchange for this review so I wanted to be open and, and, and honest about that. All in all, guys, I really like the unit. There are definitely some things that I wish were different. So like one of them obviously is I do not like that the polarity is reversed on some of the connectors, right? So I don't understand why, you know, the, 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 the male pin isn't always positive red and the female pin is uh isn't always you know negative black I, I i don't know you know to 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 need the adapter means that there's not a standard with this type of connector i guess it's really weird I, i'm not usually a user of this kind of connector i'm much more of an anderson connector guy so that kind of just it doesn't set well with me so you know on that on that adapter that I have from MC4 to, to this style connector, I'm gonna put some heat shrink tubing on there to change the black to red and the red to black, just so that I know that I'm hooking it up right. Cause guys, I had to check the thing four times to make sure it was connected. Cause I just, it just didn't set well with me that, you know, we, that, that it, you know, wasn't red all the way through or black all the way through. And I don't understand why that is, but you know, that may not be battery is fault that might just be that there's just no standard with this style of connector I, I don't know maybe you guys know more about that than me if, if if that's something that you're you know if you're really familiar with this and and you think you know there's a there's a standard drop some in the comments below let me know because i just thought that was really weird but other than that guys once i know i've got it connected all right this thing was awesome the the other thing that i would say and i mentioned it when we were looking at the screenshots is i wish the display told me what the solar panels were doing, not necessarily what the battery was doing. So it gives me the battery voltage, not the solar panel voltage. And, you know, that's just a minor thing. And if you're running the app, you get them both. So it's not, not really a big deal. I just thought that that was interesting. I love that they give you the little battery indicator on the, on the device and that it, you know, at a quick, quick glance, you know, it's, it's set for the right battery type because that's important. So really, really like that. And I love that it's waterproof. I love that it's lightweight. I love that it's easy to use. I love that I can just toss it inside the go box and pull it out when I when I need it. I do need to get a new solar panel, guys. So, and hey, you solar companies out there, if anybody wants to send me a solar panel, I can connect to this and test it out. I would love that. I'm looking for a portable, foldable solar panel that I can take with my go box. Because uh, right now, that rich solar panel is going to end up on top of the cargo camper. So, I'm not going to be able to use it long term. But all in all, this is a really, really cool, really, really cool device. So I'm going to put an affiliate link below where you can pick up one of these guys. Uh, if you use my link to purchase, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it's great to support Kemp outside as I get a little commission on the sale. If you have any questions about this, drop something below. I, I'd love to try and uh, answer any questions you have. I'm, I'm still relatively new to solar, uh, but I've done a lot of reading, a lot of research, and and and... You know, I'm really, really excited to do the solar build uh, on the, the trailer. I mean, to be able to power your stuff just by harnessing the sun's energy is really, really cool. So, you know, I love I love that. And if you have any questions, guys, like I said, you can drop something below or you can connect with us on our other social media. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and X. 
or you can connect with us at our website at kempoutside.com. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe and ring that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos. So we exist to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature and develop a conservation ethic. We wanna help you get you and your kids outside. One of the things that we know is that sometimes to spend time outside as a family, especially on longer trips, you're gonna need some portable power, especially if you're going places that don't have electric hookups like at campgrounds or that kind of thing. And so solar and lithium batteries is a great way to go. And so that's why we're bringing you content like this is because we want it to help you get outside. So again, if you have any questions, we'd love to hear from you. I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. We'll see you next time.